morning. Can you tell? It's really cool here this morning. My car is saying it's 25 degrees. Luckily, we are inside a greenhouse for this event. So it's actually at a plant shop in our area and all the vendors are gonna be inside the plant shop. So it's gonna be so cute and so fun. I've actually done this event before. It was one of my first events I ever have done and I haven't done it since then. So four years ago. The only reason I haven't done it since then is due to the pandemic, they weren't doing it. And then I think they just took last year off and this year they're bringing it back again. No, maybe last year they were doing it, but I had another conflicting event. Anyways, I'm gonna be here today and I cannot wait to sell my items. It was a really fun event four years ago, but my stuff has changed so much since then. So I think it's gonna be a really good time. I have a bag of my snowmen back here. And this is gonna be the first time this year that I put the snowmen out. And the first time that I have little baby clove as well. So I'm planning on selling it Clyde and Clara for $30 each. We determined that actually in my last vlog. So if you haven't checked out that vlog yet, it was me prepping for this market. So I put through all my information on my material costs and how much I wanna make an hour, an additional markup, all of those things into my pricing calculator. So I did that in the last vlog and we decided together that $30 felt like fair for Clyde and Clara each and then I'm gonna try $20 on clove now I personally feel comfortable going as low as 25 on Clyde and Clara and going to maybe 18 on clove so if you don't know what Clyde and Clara and clove are that is my snowman pattern so the little baby ones are baby clove and then Clyde is the mom snowman and or no Clyde is the dad snowman and, Cl and Clara is the mom snowman so anyways this little snowman family I'm so excited to put them out I didn't have any time to make any trees this time which those always sell really well but I'm hoping crossing my fingers that the snowmen do well today or at least draw in a lot of customers honestly I haven't even checked my inventory after my last busy fall season this is my first market in winter kind of Christmas themed it is Christmas themed Santa's gonna to be there so i'm pretty pumped about that as well but yeah peyton is driving me hey guys by the way <laughs> all i know is santa's, santa's gonna be there that, that's all you care about santa's gonna be there yeah so i got a big list you do are I you gonna do. sit on his lap we'll see okay he, he might tell me no but um, yeah you're gonna ask We'll see, you know, <laughs> we'll see how confident I am. Yeah, he's gotta get up his courage to talk to Santa. Yeah. How, how long has it been since you've talked to Santa? Oh goodness. Um, Did you see him last year? No, definitely not. Uh oh, okay. I don't think I saw him last it's year. It's been a long time. Okay, he's Me old. Santa are an iffy term. Have right. you been good this year? I'll have, to, I'll have to go back and watch the vlog. Yeah. Okay, well, we're pretty pumped to see Santa. We're also really excited to set up and see how the snowmen sell today. And I'm just happy to be there. It's gonna be so fun. It's in a greenhouse, it's gonna be so cute. And I can't wait to show you what my display looks like. It's gonna be a, a little bit of a different one with limited space. So I know you may have an event coming up where you have limited space or you wanna do one where you don't know what to do with this space. We only have a five foot little bench pretty much to set up on. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make it work. We're gonna make it cute and it's gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait, but first thing is always first. Even though we're running a few minutes late right now, we have to get a chai latte right now. Like it's just a necessity at this point. I feel like I do pretty much every day, but if I'm doing a market, I need one, you know? So <laughs> I'm not gonna be there late. I think we're just gonna be there a little bit later than I would have hoped for setup. It is about 8.20 right now. We're probably still 20 minutes out from my parents. So we'll get to my parents and then we will load up. I'm probably just gonna do my crates and I'll show you what I grab. It's not gonna be my full setup. We don't need a canopy because we're in a greenhouse and I don't need a table because we're setting up on the benches that they have in the greenhouse. It's not gonna take as long for us to grab all of my stuff. So I'm not super stressed about it. And then it's probably gonna be another 15, 20 minutes to get to the event. And the event doesn't start until 10. Even if we got there, honestly, I feel like if we even got there like 10 or 20 minutes before the event, we could make it work. But I am just an early person. I like to be there on time or early. So hoping that this chai doesn't make us too late, but I think we're gonna be okay. So let's grab our chai, then get to my parents, grab all of our things and then go set up. I can't wait to show you what my display looks like. And I just wanna thank you so much for coming with me in today's vlog. I always have so much fun when you come with me to these. So yeah, we were, are you gonna get anything to drink? I have a red bull. Oh, um, good, how are you? 
I think I'm gonna do a chai. 20 ounce ice with oat milk. I love your earrings, those are so pretty. Awesome, thank you so much. Do you want a sip of my chai? It's okay, it's all you. <laughs> it's all me. <laughs> so good. Thank you, yeah, have a good day. Have a good thank you. This smells so good. I also got a quiche. Let me give you a little look, a little look-see. Oh, this actually smells so good. Mm. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, well, are you gonna hang out with me today? I did tell you I do whatever you need me to do today. Yeah. If you need me to stay. I don't need you to stay. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is delicious. We will, we will see you soon. <laughs> We're all packed up. Well, Peyton helped me pack up. <laughs> and we're ready to go. Little time check. It is 9.06 and we need to be set up by 10. So we'll get there about 9.15. Check in with the coordinators. Just double check where I'm gonna be at. And then I think we can load in all of this stuff. All of this stuff fit in my Subaru Impreza because I didn't need the canopy. I didn't meet, need my tables and I didn't need any of my big display stuff because we're so limited on space. And I'm also kind of lower on my inventory. So this is a full of my inventory. Here are my crates and I got my chair. I brought a little TV stand and if it fits, I'm gonna keep that as a little almost checkout stand. I didn't wanna bring my whole checkout stand. Oh. What about bags? So we forgot bags because I didn't grab my checkout stand. So we're gonna go just to get set up and get ready. Peyton's gonna come back, grab bags and bring them back to me. Yeah, we are gonna go set up. I think we'll be able to get all of this stuff on one of those carts that you can put the plants on at the plant store. They have carts for us to transport stuff in. So nice because then we don't have to carry all of this. So we could probably fit most of this on one car. We'll probably have one or two trips in there and then it'll just be making it all pretty. I could probably be doing that part while Peyton goes and grabs bags or something like that too. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's not gonna be perfect. Also, I don't have any tablecloths that aren't spandex over the leg tablecloths. So I have a black sheet that I'm going to put down and hopefully it doesn't look super bad because it's very wrinkly, but we're just going with it. I'm letting go of my perfectionist tendencies at these shows. It used to drive me crazy when things like this would happen. And now I just roll with it. I go, okay, it's a little wrinkly. Okay, it is what it is. This is what we have. We don't have any more time to come up with another solution. It's what we have and it's gonna work out fine even when it's a little bit, it's, a little, it's, it's not, it's not perfect, okay? And that's okay. So we're gonna go get set up right now. I have Peyton running and grabbing the car. He's gonna pull it up here actually right at the front. And then there's these carts for the plants, but we're gonna use that to bring in our stuff. There he is backing up right now. So we are going to load in. I'll show you what my space looks like. It's definitely more room than I thought it would be. So I'm super excited to show you and see what we can do with the space. I love that. I love those colors. Kind of a purple. Yeah. 
This will be 10. Do you want to do a cash or cart? It's about noon and Peyton just ran to grab me lunch. He's grabbed me a Jimmy John sandwich. So I'm gonna check out my booth and see if I need to pick up a little bit. So I'm gonna see, I've sold quite a few snowmen. So I'm gonna see what my display's looking like right now and just rearrange everything. It's pretty busy right now. So I'm just gonna try to sneak away and do that really quick. vendors are packing up a little bit early. I'm pretty tired and it's definitely pretty slow but some other vendors are staying and I usually do try to stay until the end. Plus Peyton drove me and he's not here yet so if I packed up then I have nowhere to go. So anyways I am uh, just gonna wait. We have about 20 more minutes left. Yeah I'm excited. It has definitely slowed down but I'm still making sales. I'm excited to show you my table because it's looking really empty. Can we get a snowman? Okay, sounds good. And then it's just 20. You got 20 even? That's perfect. Yeah. Thank you. my money bag here you know today was really good Peyton is just going and putting that cart back that we used to load out our stuff here he is hello hello hey ladies <laughs> we are going to go home now an elf oh no he's been here oh. the elf yeah he's been here I don't know what is up was there not santa maybe he was just like i i don't know santa was either not here or he was somewhere else because we were in the greenhouse santa was not in the greenhouse i did not see santa there was somebody out front gluten-free donuts were out front maybe he was hanging around them maybe santa well no if there was cookies there was cookies inside and oh i had so much self-control I was gonna buy a cookie probably like four different times, dude. Okay, well, anyways, we just got done with the event and I wanted to chat about a couple things. Oh, there was just so much that happened today and I'm so excited to tell you how I did. Just more details of the show and I found something that I'm super pumped about at another shop. It was an antique little booth. So pretty pumped. I was kind of mad, at, not mad. I guess I was kind of sad, bummed out that Santa wasn't in there with us. I was kind of looking forward to that. Now I don't think Peyton's gonna get anything for Christmas. You're gonna have to send him a letter now. First of all, I think we should talk about the amount of space I was given because did you think that it, that was more than you would have thought? I thought from the emails, you know, I was like, oh, I thought I was gonna be like way smaller, but honestly, I didn't have that much more inventory. So I think my display was just fine. And she's like, here's your space. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is bigger than I thought or I remembered. And she goes, oh, you don't have to fill it all the way. Don't stress about it. I was like, oh, okay, thanks. So I really liked our display. All of it fit in the car, which was super nice. Oh, tear down. What do you think that took 10, five minutes? Five minutes to tear down. It was so 
quick. We didn't tear down until it was over at three o'clock. There were a couple vendors that tore down early, but honestly, I'm so glad I didn't because I made more sales at the end. Even with those vendors leaving, I, I think sometimes people come at the end and if there's less vendors, they're more likely to buy at one of the last shops, to be honest. So that can actually help you if you're one of the ones that stick around to the very end when you're supposed to. I mean, don't even get me wrong. I have left early at shows before. I usually ask though because I, I don't want to get in trouble and it's when like pretty much everybody is and it's because of something like the weather. I usually don't leave when it's too slow because I'm just, I mean, I'm here anyways. I'm crocheting. It's all good. So I just kind of stay there. So anyways, we stayed until three. It's now 3.15, we're headed home. It is a little bit of a drive for us, but I wanted to chat about my space was a lot bigger. I really liked my display. The one thing I didn't really like about my display, or I guess just the space in general, is that I felt like I was so far from my customers if I sat down, so I was pretty much standing all day. I'm not lazy, I just wanted to sit and crochet, especially when I started working on my Christmas tree pattern because I kept having to refer to the pattern and so it was kind of hard, but that is not really a big issue at all. I I loved being in the greenhouse because we were inside and so it was so warm but we had all of that natural light coming through and it was so pretty so all of our stuff was lit up really pretty you know really good photos for instagram in there and honestly some of these shows that you do indoor in the winter look really bad like the lighting's really bad you have to bring your own lighting equipment so i was really happy about that oh i sold all but one of my snowmen all but one of my snowman and I was looking at the snowman that was left what what's wrong with this Clyde you know and he looks like a gentleman he looks like a handsome guy and he looks fine though and, and sometimes it's just like one thing is left there's nothing wrong with that thing that's left it's just like that's the one thing that didn't sell and I think too because a lot of people were buying Clyde and Clara as a couple he didn't have his Clara so maybe I need to make him a girlfriend and then maybe he'll sell at my next show. But anyways, this is a good time to subscribe if you're not already because I do have a few more shows coming up this season and they're gonna be really fun shows, kind of similar to this one, just a lot smaller, a lot more kind of, I don't know, not huge craft show scene. It's a lot more low key and honestly, these are my favorite shows ever, even though as far as sales, I mean, I did pretty good today. I'm not even gonna lie. I did really great today, but usually they're not like as good as like a crazy big craft show that's like a three day weekend, obviously. It was just five hours. The setup took 20 minutes. The teardown took five minutes. You know what I realized? I never paid a vendor fee. They never asked for a vendor fee. This was a really great event. There was great traffic all the way through. I've done events that I've paid, I mean, hundred dollars for that had less traffic than this event maybe not that much i've had events where i paid like sixty dollars in a fee and had less traffic than this event so as far as it being no fee and that much traffic i actually saw a lot of people that i knew you know friends from high school it was fun seeing people like that and also just people that have bought for me in the past i saw probably three or four people that i have met at other shows that were here and so that was super awesome seeing everybody in our community you know i don't think i knew any of the other vendors which usually i do but i met some really great vendors and some friends and oh it was just so much fun i love these events so much you know so the things that I was stressing about before, if you watch the market prep vlog that I prepped for this market, I was stressed out about a bunch of things that honestly, now looking back, didn't matter. And I feel like that's a common theme in my life. And so I keep reminding myself of that where I look and I, oh, I was stressed about this. And this morning I was stressed about my black tablecloth because it had wrinkles. Literally nobody noticed <laughs> the wrinkles. And if they did, it didn't affect my sales that much because I still did really well. So sometimes these things that we stress about aren't as big of a deal as we make them to be. So there's your little reminder. But anyways, really quickly, can I just show you what I got? My mom and my dad came earlier to come see me. They love to come see me at my events, which is so sweet of them. So my dad knew I was looking for a nativity scene for our apartment because I'm really into Christmas decor, but we don't have a nativity scene. So I told him to keep an eye out for one. And anyways, he was walking around and there was an antique booth there. He came running back over. He goes, Cameron, really quickly sneak over to this booth and look at this nativity scene. I think you're going to love it. It's all white. It's really cool. It's like this antique. I guess it's not super old, but 1988. Would you say that's an antique? Is that technically? Or maybe it's... Maybe it does. Maybe it does. <laughs> this was 10 years before I was born. I don't know. It's cool. Whatever it is, it's cool. Anyways, here's the box. The box is like a little rough. All of the pieces 
pieces are in there. Like there was no pieces missing or anything. They're so pretty. On the back, it talks a little bit about the artist and the history of it. And anyways, it was this really sweet older couple. The wife was so happy that I got it. She was just so, so happy. She's like, well, go shop around. I'll box it all up. And she wrapped it all back in the box for me. And I think maybe this was special to her or maybe she just really was excited that, that I was the one who bought it. But I don't know. That just made it this even more special to me. I'm just super pumped about this now. Okay. Here's the craziest part. I went over there and I had a little like a little thing on there and it said $15. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe each piece is $15, you know? And I even asked Peyton, I was like, how much do you think I spent on this nativity scene? I was really excited to show him as soon as he came to pick me up. And he goes, I don't know, like $100? I go, it was $15. Score. I feel like today was already so good. And then the fact I found this, I'm like so pumped about it. Anyways, I just had to share that with you. Yeah, today was great. I feel like if I did have more sizes, like I had none of my double palm beanies, I had no chickens. I had several people come and ask, where are your chickens? Cause they came to buy chickens for me and I felt so bad. I go, I don't have any right now. Oh, here's another cool thing. I had somebody ask me to make them seven snowmen for all of their grandkids. It was at the end of the day and I only had a couple of snowmen left. So she wants to buy seven snowmen from me. And so she's gonna do a custom order for seven snowmen. So I thought that was super awesome. And I'm really excited about it. The snowmen were a huge hit. And I'm not even just saying that because I sell the pattern. I'm saying that because you need to try selling these at your shows and you're going to make money selling these. They not only drew in a ton of customers, but a ton of people were buying them and I didn't have to discount them. I was selling them at $20 for the little clothes. So the little babies were 20 and the adult ones were 30. Nobody, I mean, some people looked at the price and walked away, but obviously I could still sell them to the people. Like people still bought them. Some people didn't, but that's fine. That's kind of always how it goes with any of my products. So I sold a few of my adult headbands. I sold one or two adult beanies, a couple baby things. That was really fun, but I just didn't really have a huge selection, especially toddler sizes. There were a ton of people that wanted toddler hats or toddler headbands and I just didn't have the size available so I gave them a card and a lot of people are gonna put in custom orders so I'm pretty excited about that oh it was just it was such a good day I'm feeling so grateful for our community and places like this that just hold these events for us because it really is a great way to you know get my get my name out there in our area but also just connect with people I feel like a lot of what we do as handmade business owners can feel kind of isolating or kind of I don't know I get lonely sometimes where I'm just crocheting I mean I love to just binge Gilmore Girls and crochet with Alice but then this gets me out of the house and gets me chatting with people and make new friends and meet my customers face to face and that is why I love doing craft shows. If you haven't tried a craft show yet, you should try one. New Year's coming up, maybe make it a resolution that you try a craft show in 2024 or whatever year it is that you're watching this video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for hanging out with me and Peyton was kind of hanging out for a minute as well. Thanks so much for hanging out with us in today's video. I hope you love the video and I would love to keep hanging out with you here on YouTube. If you want to keep hanging out, I will see you, my friend, in this video right here. Bye. <laughs> Do you want to say bye? All right, ladies, we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, we think you're going to enjoy this video right here. Um, we'll see you next time. I don't